Hello everyone, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. So, over the weekend I got given this, and this is a laptop with a broken screen, and where do electronics go to get fixed? Well, they come to me. So the person that wanted, uh, sorry, the person that gave this to me only wants one thing. They don't want the laptop back, but they want the files off this laptop. And there's two ways that you can do this. And the first way I'll explain to you because that's not what we're actually going to be doing. And the second way I'll actually show you. So the first way is that you can actually remove the hard drive from the bottom by undoing these screws, stick it in a desktop setup in your computer, and that way you're able to transfer all of the files onto a folder onto your actual computer. And that's a very sped through run through of that. So the second way I'm going to show you. So let's go upstairs. Right, so now I'm at my desk, the whole point of this video is to be able to get the laptop display onto a secondary screen. And we can do this really easily because most laptops have display outputs. It could be VGA, DVI, HDMI or DisplayPort, but it should have some sort of output. And incidentally, mine's a HDMI, and if you don't have a monitor that takes HDMI or DisplayPort, most newer tellies usually do. So that means you'll still be able to connect your laptop up to a telly and still be able to get access to everything. So, now I've quickly run through that, let's plug this in and see if it works. And we can do this really easily because most laptops have display outputs. It could be VGA, DVI, and there we go. Even though this screen is completely broken, as you can see, the image of this laptop is now on this telly. So, what I can do from here is take my external hard drive and then I can copy all the most important files that they wanted onto this, wipe the whole thing clean, and boom, we're actually going to be done. Okay, so one thing has just crossed my mind, and that is, it's sometimes not as straightforward as that. Windows 10, by default, does set it to duplicate the display, so you have the same image on both displays, but sometimes this isn't the case, and there's a special way, or a special combination of buttons that you can use to change this, and that is Windows key, P key, and the directional pad, and it's a little bit of trial and error for, uh, going through that, but there is a lot of online resources telling you and showing you actually how to do this without seeing your display, so if this happens to you, it's worth just doing that, but for now, I'm going to finish transferring my files over. And there we go, I actually finished transferring the most important files that they wanted over onto this external hard drive, which means I'll be able to wipe this thing clean. Secondly, I've actually ordered a new panel for this, so hopefully in the next week or so there will be a video of me repairing this, which will be awesome, so make sure you keep your eye out for that. And with that being said, that does bring me to the end of the video. I definitely thought that was worth sharing, because if you get in a similar situation like this and you take it to a computer repair shop, they're going to charge you a bit of money to actually get these files off. So I definitely, definitely thought this little tip was worth sharing. But Either way, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later.